Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Greggy here again. Sorry I haven't um, been doing any videos, I've just felt a bit off these last few days and a couple of weeks really, but I feel a bit better today, so I thought I'd do a, a new um, <coughs> product review. You know I built for the, um, a company called GeroDesign.com from Germany. A uh, yeah, young man called Tristan, who uh, I think he owns a business, has uh, been very kind and sent me some more stuff to, um, excuse me, to, um, to look at. So, first of all, we'll start off with the small things first. We've got this, the cargo net, or cargo net, or netting, or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Bring it up to the camera, and you can see what kind of stuff it is. That's the back side. Obviously, you can drape it over whatever part, cut it into pieces, or whichever you want. But yeah, nothing wrong with that. Good and sturdy. It's not uh, cheap and nasty. It's got a nice, a nice um, pattern to it as well. And I think this one costs um, nine euros. I think it is nine ninety in euros. So obviously it's under a tenner. So let's put this big back. And remember that it back. It's difficult to put back in when you put it in a flat bag. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's good quality. I like that. I'll keep that for a more modern armour, I think, for that one. Sorry. <coughs> you have to make it. So you have to, um, have to keep interrupting because I have to cough and cough all this gunk up. So just a second, please. Right, back. Sorry about that. It's just a recurring thing every day after you go through that. And then we have a. There's a good toilet, 135 scale, sorry, as well. well. Let's have a look at this one. Fairly straightforward to put together. Yep. It's got lovely, lovely wood grain to it. It really has a lovely wood grain to it. And the hinges are actually there, but you can replace them if you really wanted to. But I'll just paint them to the uh, colour you want. But look at the look at the actual detail in the wood. It's superb. There's a toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, it's made by Giro Giro Design. I don't even attempt to uh, offend toilet, a toiletta, or a toilet as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, that's really nice. And that's nine euros and ninety, I think, as well. So. I mean, off of the wood texture on that's really really nice. You can actually build this and just do and just weather just weather it. If you really wanted to. That's really nice. That's the small things out of the way. I just move this over there. Um, excuse me a second while I yeah. Do something. That's not that one. Right. Let's see where we are now. Over there. Diorama stuff. Let's keep the. I'll give you the prices of them all. Right, we shall start with the first one. First kit, take it off the floor. The look, I say, it came all packed, brilliantly packed with foam and you know, the sponge, um, what I call quavers, all that kind of stuff. Really, really well packed, really packed, and it, nothing nothing was broken. I had a quick look through, and superb it was. And this is one of the new ones, it's called a Gastoff Adler, which I think is basically a hotel or pub. If I'm not mistaken, so there's a, a picture of it. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. And first of all, you see now we're actually doing the um, laser cut windows, doors. Very nice. Door shutters or window shutters. 
the pub sign. Superb. So again, we've got the laser cut stuff. Sorry about the glare. You've got windows, you got the grid shutters, top of the windows, pub sign, more shutters, signs. So that's this is a new thing they're starting to do. And it's very nice indeed. I do like this laser cut stuff, it's really really nice. Right, so that's that part of that one, and then we start off with the um the parts. I'll wrap them as I take them out and then I'll wrap them. So this one side of the uh, one side of it again. Nice textures on there, nice um brick work on the outside texture on the rendering, whatever it's called, and the damage. Really tasty that. So there's over for the window as well with the arch at the top. Nothing on the back, but we don't need anything on the back really unless you want to go and do the back, you certainly can. So that's nice. That's uh, really nice casting. And it's thick and chunky, but it's not gonna excuse me, it's not gonna break. Right, and then we have the other side, which is similar again. Nice window, brickwork. You can do some damage, pull it all, you can do what you want with it. Uh, again, really nice, nice and uh, quality, and then we get to the bigger part, I think. There we go. Which is the main part. Again, nice woodwork again, obviously with a piece to go on its sides and things like that. Take some nice paint work, do a lot with that. Do a lot with that. So with this kit you don't get a base with this one, but what you can do if you really wanted to, you can buy the extra I'll show you in a minute, just a second. There again, you know, if you've got your own bricks and things like that, you can build your own but That back up, I'll show you before we go any further. I'll just lay it on the floor for now. Purchase the uh, bricks for the road. I can't remember how many is in there? A couple of thousand, I think. I can't remember. We get about nine euro as well. Nice texture on it as well. Got the brick road work, and you got the pavement slabs as well. I think we showed you these on the last one, the last build of these doors. And a pack of edging as well to use. So, then okay. And then again, I think we'll see all about 9 euro for all that lot. So, individual, sorry. So, they can, you can add them to the uh, kit that I showed you. Quality, quality is brilliant. Especially with all this uh, laser cut stuff, and then we have another kit, which is the uh, oh, that's my wife. You can put her hand in if you want. Oh, say hello. Say hello. 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 Um, yeah. So this is the new one of the new kits again. I can't even try to pronounce it. Strat House 1, so obviously it's a, it's a house building on the corner. Oh, sorry, the kit price is 29 euro. I think 29 euro or 29. And the same again with this one. We shall take the stuff out of the side first. 
There's, again, really nice. Really, really nice. Nice detail. Again, really nice again. Nothing wrong with that. Superb. And it's all simple to put together as well. This is brilliant. So I'll show you the I'll show you this first as well. And again we have a bit more here of the uh, photo uh, photo the uh, laser cut stuff, window frames and door. Again, really nice. Quality. Yeah, looking forward to building these, I really am. Really am. Um, At the moment they're actually doing quite a lot of new stuff being produced at the moment as well. Uh, with like the German flags for recognition on their tanks and uh, I haven't got those but they really look nice as well for what I've seen of them. And this is the other part of the house. Again, nothing on the back but you can you can certainly do something with it, there's no problem with that. Nice detail again, and lovely brickwork. So that should be you can see you could have this built. What, less than an hour, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. They do have their own glue as well if you want to purchase their own special glue, which I have somewhere. For actually, for actually uh, sticking them together, it's like a, it's something like an, um, uh, an Evo stick, I would say, more than anything. It'd be that kind of thing. So, what I'll do is I'll put this inside here as well, I think, so on the way So, as you can see, the good quality again. Nothing wrong with the quality, and I say it's all well packed, so there's no fear of anything breaking unless you get some you know, course and just don't give it a toss. But generally speaking, when it comes to you, you'll see how well packed it is. It really is well packed. So that's, so that's why I got sent from geodesign.com. I say thank you again, Tristan, for those. I shall certainly start doing something with those and building those. So. Eventually, I want to get myself back into a proper routine. At the moment, I'm uh, still messing around with the uh, KV1 at the moment. I decided to do a small diorama with you as well, which I haven't docu documented. I can show you it, but it's not documented. Uh, this is basically what I've got so far. We have. Let's just dip it up a bit. There we go. The grass looks a bit green, doesn't it? But it's not green, it's not as green as that. So what I've got is obviously the KV, the KV1, sorry, KV1 with the uh, armour. It's obviously going towards the railway track. And where this sponge is at, I'm going to build a little 38T damaged, or, you know, disabled on there. Obviously I've got all the uh, stuff to do between the rails and cut the rails to the size. I have mud to do here for the tracks. But, uh, that's what I've been doing, so I haven't really, I say, nothing, there's nothing different to what I normally do. Just make a base out of like an old picture frame and then bolster with around the size, packing form basically to do the shape, and then I sculpt them all, um, painted brown after it's all dried, and then I um, PVA with water and I stuck some uh, tile grout over it, which is this colour here, which you can see. And and then I started with the static grass and a few grass tufts and uh, it smells quite nice because I've got a few herbs in the most of the grass as well. So this is this, this heavy and he isn't finished yet. So as you can see, it's coming along. It's coming along quite nice and quite pleased so far. So uh, this is last time since I saw it's three weeks work, at least three and a half weeks work just to do this. So I'm only spending say an hour, an hour and a bit each time in the cave. I gotta get so so tired. As you can tell my my voice now it's starting to uh, it's starting to hurt again. But we're we're, we're persevering. So I'd say just like to say thank you all for uh, sticking with me and all my new subscribers and a couple of shout outs to that mad bloody Welshman, Neil McKay. And have a look at his new videos, especially the stormproof one of these on the uh, with the glider. That's brilliant. And the splash effect looks superb on it. So yeah, give me a if you want to have a look at it and you'll see it really is brilliant. That's really so simple as well. 
Yeah, it could be calling out for the uh, for uh, new we can. Okay. I'll, if I remember, I'll put the link into his uh, um, his channel. And obviously, Mr. Mottram himself is uh, having a bit of a rough time at the moment. He's had a, a procedure done on his head, and he's not particularly good at the moment. But uh, which happens most days, and he seems to be uh, you know on the mend as such. But he still obviously has his bad days and good days like myself. And then we have Al Al Wood. He was everywhere, all around the internet. When this is a tribute build. Lovely man, really nice, and he does a 170 second stuff, all the aircraft matchbox, as you well know. And I think he's got a, he's going to do something special, but I'll let him, I'll let him um, tell you that. And it's a really nice idea, especially, especially nowadays. You know, I'm looking forward to that when he builds that. So, so I'll put his link in there as well, Mr. McCann, and obviously all the rest of my uh, subscribers. I've got that, I've got a few, that many now. I couldn't possibly name everybody. Uh, just top top of me head. Obviously, um, who else? Let me think of. I can't think of brands, but I've got Chemo Brain, which forgets so easy. Really does forget so easy. Really, it's ridiculous. As soon as I finish this, I bet you, I'll bet you 100 million quid that I remember what I was going to say. There it was. But I'm ran rambling now, so I'll say goodbye for the moment, and hopefully, I'll, I might even do a build review, a build log on the. Uh, 38T, it's a hobby boss kit. I won't do an unboxing because it's a fairly old kit. Um, I'll do a build, I'll do, I'll do a build log for it though. And then we'll uh, go through that and it's, uh, it's going to go with that spongy that roughly on there. As a, as a burnt out uh, armour. So this is Greg signing off and we shall catch you very, very soon. Sorry, I forgot to say I haven't. I haven't replied to all the lovely comments on my last video. I'm sorry. I will. I will get around to, to commenting and replying to everybody that's left a message on there of uh, good wishes and things like that. So I'm very sorry for that. I apologise. So this is me definitely signing off now. So we'll catch you later.